What's up riders? Old Man Ronan here. Welcome back to the channel. We're in the shop today and that means we're going to be doing a modification to the Royal Enfield Himalayan. That mod is something that has to be done right away because I want to maintain the battery, also increase its life, and you know what? You're going to get a special bonus at the end. Stay tuned. Join me as I wire up the Battery Tender Junior on my Royal Enfield Himalayan. It's a must mod. You know, uh, one of the things you make sure you do is take the negative side off first, no matter what. That way you don't arc across your uh, frame. That is off. You know, before I uh, make the wiring for the battery tender, there's two things I like to do. I, uh, I like to pull the fuse out, put it aside, and then I like to figure out where it's going to go. So I fish it through there and uh, pre-wire it so I know exactly where I want it to be. I think the best thing for this is to fish it down through here, trying to avoid any kind of sharp edges because you just never know. And uh, Sharp edges create grounds, which create problems. And I think what I'm going to do is, after I get it down here, I'm going to have it, the end of it, lie across the top of this and end up right about there. And that way I can zip tie it and get to it pretty easy. I think I found the route that I want to go to. Uh, so what I'm going to do with the fuse still out, because I'm going to have the fuse easy accessible right here, and then take my screw, put it through the top of the wire, and then gingerly <laughs> try to hook everything back up. Make sure that's good and tight. You know, like I said before, good and tight. That way it doesn't have the opportunity to uh, loosen up when you're on the road. And check it periodically. Now for the other side. And after you uh, get all your wiring done, button back up and go ahead and zip tie stuff. I mean, that's make sure nothing flops around or moves around. The less movement, the better things are. Oh, 
want to make sure make sure everything sharp edges is down to tighten it up. And we'll go back and trim it. And like I said, we'll go in here and we'll zip tie everything securely so there's no flopping around, which is the enemy <laughs> of motorcycles. And if you noticed, I put it on this side because I wanted to avoid the chain at all costs on the other side. And then make sure that everything is nice and secure and out of the way. This uh, little piece right here will be wired, I think, I don't want to hit my foot, so I think I'm going to tie it to this nozzle right there. And you start to zip tie everything. Make sure everything is out of the way. Not going to get into your foot, your chain, anything of that nature. Make sure it's good and tight. pretty secure right there but I'm gonna put one up here I think now because that's where the seat goes so got it tied to here got it tied down here and down here uh, there's no I might be able to get one up there and you can't ever be too secure just make sure everything is out of the way you don't want to interfere with anything. There. And make sure nothing is hitting any hard edges. And then go trim your tails off. Now we'll finish putting her up. And of course the final thing I like to do is wipe everything down, make sure I didn't forget any tools in there, make sure that uh, everything is tight. You know, when you clean your bike, you wash it down. I know some guys on the internet don't like to wash their bikes, but when you wash your bike, you, uh, you find things that are uh, not right. <laughs> so wipe her down and put her back together. Everything's hooked up, battery tender's working, life is good. <laughs> well, I really hope you enjoyed this video and this uh, modification series that we're doing to the Himalayan. Now, I wanted to make sure I did this one right away. Most of the modifications are gonna wait till the winter time, but this one cannot wait. And the reason why it can't is because I'm trying to save money. And I needed to have the battery in good shape because it's a two-year-old bike already, and I doubt that it's had a battery tender on it or a trickle charger or a float charger on it from the day it came out of the factory. That's why I want to make sure it lasts at least until the uh, Transamerica Trail. Odds are I'll probably put a lithium-style battery in there before I go on that trip because I want peak performance and more capacity in the whole nine yards. However, until that day, I want to save some money, and that's why we did the battery tender. Plus the fact, 
all my motorcycles have battery tenders on them. Uh, one of the most important things I can tell you is my Road King, which is a 2001, has a five and a half year old battery in it. And you know what? It's as strong as the day I put it in because of what? The battery tender. It's been able to keep and maintain that battery at peak performance. I'll tell you, it's well worth the money. And they're like 25 or 30 bucks, I think, on Amazon, or you can get them from your local store or whatever. Make sure you get yourself some kind of trickle float charger and maintain your battery. Now I promised you a bonus, and this is it. This, when you buy your battery tender, pick up one of these battery tender USB ports. And this is really an important feature. Uh, the reason why is because it gives you an auxiliary place to plug in your phone, plug in your GPS unit, or plug in your uh, Cardo or Senna unit, anything like that, and gives you the ability to charge them. And if you already have them on your bikes, as far as having the, uh, the uh, USB ports, they're usually keyed in. And when you turn your key off, you have no power to these uh, USB ports. This will give you direct access to it. That way, in case you have a problem along the road and you, let's say your battery's about ready to go dead and your key switch isn't working anymore, you can plug directly into your battery and charge your phone to get some help on the way. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell notifications. Share, comment. You know I read all the comments and comment all the comments. Until next time, ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby.